But when people ask me how I make friends, um, the way that I sort of like to reframe that is, how do you make friends? If children don't go to school, how will they socialize? How will they become exposed to new ideas? And how will they make friends? This is one of the most common doubts people have about unschooling and self-directed education. We decided to ask some unschoolers themselves. My name is Arthur Velwest. My pronouns are they, them, or he, him. And I've been unschooling pretty much my entire life since uh, second grade. Hi, I'm Bria Bloom. I am a grown unschooler, so I unschooled all my life until college. Actually, when I was younger, like there were some neighborhood kids, but most of them were in school, and I needed friends so badly. I think that that is one of the hardest parts about my childhood in particular. I think I wanted more friends. You do have to find communities and you can't just like naturally be socialized when there's no, one, no kids around you. My name is Zoe Newmarco. Um, I am 23 years old. I was homeschooled as a young kid and as I got older um, I made the shift more and more into self-directed learning. If I want to socialize, I need to find people. School is not the only way that um, teenagers ever interact. There are after school groups, there are homeschooling groups, there are lots of um, available places. You can't, it's like easy, they are out there. Um, but keeping your kids at home and like not helping them find communities doesn't help. I actually have been going to unschooling conferences and camping trips my whole life since I was four, I think. I have tons of friends, you know, I have, whenever I want, I can just hop on my computer and talk to all my friends that I live in all across the world. Through homeschooling co-op through sports. We had a homeschool basketball league that I really enjoyed. So once I started going to like the homeschool resource center, there were people there, it's a lot easier to socialize in a free open environment than in a schooled environment. Not being in school actually enabled me to connect really deeply in my community. So I participated in programs like Odyssey of the Mind. I was really involved with my local theater. I have a really strong friend group. So all my friends and me have a bunch of cool ways to um, play in different ways that other kids might not have the opportunities to. Through self-directed learning, I was able to pursue my interests, and when I found people who were also interested in those, I was able to make really deep connections um, based on something we had in common, rather than just happening to be in the same place uh, day after day. Like a lot of the kids I went to camp with or the unschooling conferences, we all loved music. So we talked about making music, listening to music, what kind of music, and if any of us wanted to do music in the future. The freedom to interact with multiple ages of people, working alongside my dad with his business, uh, meeting clients, developing communication skills with adults. I had a ceramics mentor who was in her late 70s, and I had a uh, sort of political mentors who were in their 40s, and uh, just being able to connect to people of all ages and backgrounds I think was a big benefit to me. I probably socialize just as much as school kids do, but I, since I actively seek it out and I am doing things that I enjoy, it creates a better environment for me to make friends. Just because you're, do you're um, pursuing self-directed learning doesn't mean you're learning alone. I've learned, you know, in groups of people, I've sought out mentors, I had a sewing teacher from the time I was 10 to 14 who helped me like make a lot of my own clothes. The self comes from self-awareness and self-curiosity, um, but it's not a, a, a lonely thing and it shouldn't necessarily be done alone. All I can say is that it's not something to worry about. People will find friends, find people that they share values with and enjoy being with, regardless of whether that's a structured classroom setting or not. And uh, the more freedom you have, the more free you are to find the best people and the ones that you will love and value the most. This video was possible thanks to the Alliance for Self-Directed Education. And everyone who responded to our call for crowdsourced videos. We need your support to continue creating these videos. So please share this one with your friends and follow the links in the description to find us on social media.